Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building a larger master bedroom closet for my wife and I. Now, I've already built another closet in my daughter's room, a bump out closet to replace the one that I'm about to claim. But there's two closets in between our rooms and I'm going to be closing that off on her side. I'll take a small section for at the end of the hall for a nice linen closet. And then the rest of this, I'm going to take out those walls and claim that as the master bedroom closet. Now, if you're interested in seeing that bump out closet video, I'll leave the link at the end of this one so you guys can go check out that once you're done. So here's my daughter's closet. We're gonna close this up so you won't even know it was ever there. And this is the side we're gonna be tearing out. Now this is gonna be a pretty big mess. Now it always gets worse before it gets better. So I'm gonna start tearing this out. I need to take all the moldings off in the door frames before building a new wall and patching this with some sheetrock. All right, now the doorway's closed up on my daughter's side. That will keep a lot of the dust out of her room. So I'm gonna start tearing this out. Same thing, tearing off the moldings, the door frames, and then I'll start tearing into the sheetrock as well. I was originally planning to just cut out the section that I needed to make for the doorway, but I ended up needing to reframe this and it made a lot more sense to be able to see everything that's going on and make sure I framed it up correctly. So I'm going to tear off all the sheetrock, not just the doorway that I'm going to be cutting out, but everything so I could see the studs. This wall is a little trickier because it is somewhat load bearing. It is holding up the ceiling on this side of the house. The other wall that's on my daughter's side is holding up the ceiling on the other side. And so I don't wanna tear this out and that beam there that's supporting the ceiling without putting something back to support. I don't want it to sag or even cave in. I don't think it would cave in at this point, but I just wanna make sure. So I'm actually gonna build a new header to go across this doorway so that it can support the wall and the ceiling. And then I'm also gonna be putting in a jack stand with a beam spreading across the distance where this wall was before I tear it out. So nothing sags and drops down while I'm working. All right, it's gonna be loud. It's fun working with the girls, but it definitely does take a little bit longer with the extra distractions that they cause. I'm putting in a triple thick stud right here, just giving a support beam to hold up that header. And unfortunately, in just a minute, the battery on my phone dies and I don't catch this section. So I actually install that header. I took out the jack stand by the time I realized that the video had stopped. So I'm sorry that I missed that part, but I'm going to be picking back up and start this closing up? this in with some sheet. Push on it. Push on the wall. Hold it there. Okay. You think so? <gasps> Maybe. Good job. All right, 
That should be good. You can let go. So you can see right here, this is going to be the linen closet. I'm going to be leaving this section empty for now, but that closet's 14 inches deep. That will give me plenty of space for some shelves, and that will fit a lot of the towels and different bathroom essentials and have a really good space for storage. Unfortunately, a lot of these older houses didn't make any space for closets. They didn't use the space well, and so I've actually had to go through, this is gonna be the third and fourth closet that I've built in this house, just to improve the space. It's not a huge house, so we need to use the space that we have efficiently. On the inside of this closet, we're gonna be putting in these beadboard panels, and this is mostly gonna be covered up, and it's just really for show at this point. But I'm gonna be building a custom cabinet to go in here. Now, I'm gonna have hanging space on each side of the closet, but in between, there's gonna be a set of shelves, and underneath the hanging space, we're gonna have a set of three drawers for each of us. So we're gonna have plenty of space now, but that will be in a future video, so stay tuned for the next video that I post will most likely be that closet video. So check that one out once you're done watching this. So I'm gonna finish this up, I'm gonna put some paint on the walls and then put up some moldings as well and get everything finished off, ready for that cabinet to be installed in here. And then I also need to patch the floor before I'm finished today. The wall was built before the flooring was installed, so I need to patch that real quick. Now, most of this is just gonna be covered up by the cabinet, so I'm not as worried about it. I think this turned out really good. As long as you have the same wood that they use for the flooring, same type of wood, and the stain's really close, it will match really well. And that's what I've got here. I've got some old oak that was just laying around in my shop, so I milled that down to be the right thickness, and I'm gonna be using my multi-tool. This thing's amazing for projects like this to be able to just go straight down, cut off all the extra pieces of that flooring, and I'm gonna be putting a little bit of liquid nail on each of these just so that it doesn't squeak over time and become loose. I'm gonna sand down the edges just so nothing sharp and no splinters left over. And then I've got the stain. That's exactly what they used, it looks like. And once this soaks up all the stain and dries off, I'll wipe off all the excess around the outside and it matches perfectly. So just a little bit of paint and we're done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And stay tuned for the next one where I build the cabinet to go in here. It still doesn't look great at this point. It's just temporary until I get that cabinet done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.